What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Happy Holidays! We're back with another episode of This Week in Warframe, where we go over the weekly reset, Archon reset, and all those things that you need to know about if you want to be doing the weekly reset stuff in this game. We'll be live on stream a little bit later tonight uh, to do this weekly reset stuff, so hopefully you enjoy these types of videos and stop by later. Uh, yeah, so I really appreciate it. We're currently not live. I usually record these videos when I'm live, but I had a family gathering, and I just got back, so I'm going to be going live after this, like I said. So let's get into it, starting off with Teshin stuff. And as far as news for this week, DE is on vacation until probably, like, second week of January is my guess. So don't expect anything out of them. All right, Teshin's got a Rifle Riven mod for 75 Steel Essence. Um, yeah. Keep in mind that we have that this new like ribbon system now where you can have basically infinite uh, unveiled ribbons, like slot-wise. But if you want to like unveil them for the challenge and all that, it's gonna eat a ribbon slot at that point. But before you get to that, you know, you can just have as many as you want in your inventory. Don't get greedy. Alright, twenty over two thousand days and I get like fifteen galleon for logging in. Seems about right. All right, let's talk about the Archon Swordy. Let's see what we got. I think it's going to be... Okay, so it's uh, it should be double blue week. So you got blue Archon Shard at the uh, Archon Hunt. And as far as mission types, we got Extermination, Excavation, and then the final boss fight against the Bereal Archon. This one's actually... I can say this one the most annoying, personally, uh, because there's times he can just be in a really like, annoying spot to get to. So yeah, Blue Archon Shard can give you more armor, can give you more health, can give you built-in health regen. Um, a lot of people view that as the weakest one, as do I. Um, basically, I have a lot of blue Tau Shards and not a lot of Tau Shards for Crimson and Amber. And as I said, it is double blue week, so you got Blue Shard at, at Chipper and you got a Blue Shard from the Archon itself. So, yeah. La di da indeed, dude. As far as what calls got, we're back on sneaky sabotage, the really fast one. Uh, for challenges, we've got, uh, you know, you better be doing this quick because we got a challenge for 15 minutes or under. But as far as the challenges, Deathless is the first one. Complete the mission without being, without dying or becoming veiled. That's 30 stock. Remove five Blue veils say, using the veil breaker. Veils 15 break. stock for that one. Find the four confiscated K drive parts. So, that, I feel like they always, whenever it's Sneaky Savage, I feel like this, this Find the K-Drive Parts one is always going to happen. Freeze the Narmer Saito Rachnoid two times. Uh, so, in the picture, there's like those blue barrels. If you've done this mission before, you might know what this is referring to. There's like ice barrels. So, I'm guessing don't blow them both up at the same time. So, maybe be a little bit careful with that. You have to freeze it twice. Shouldn't be too hard. Complete the mission in under 15 minutes. Also, not that bad. Uh, as long as you've done the... I mean, at this point, it's only three missions that rotate every couple of weeks. So, Call. I've done this mission so many times, I definitely can do it in 15, no problem. Uh, some of those other ones, 15 is a little bit more annoying. But yeah, for this one, it's really fast. And then five Deacon stuns using the Veilbreaker. You could just... Honestly, you just keep stunning the same Deacon over and over again. You don't need to find five different Deacons. So, pretty easy challenges as far as I'm All concerned. Uh, no, like, RNG spawn ones besides this K-Drive part, but they're, you know, it's like a blue shine. You can basically see it from across the map with my graphic settings. Uh, but yeah, I've never done this freezer burn one, so we'll see how that goes. Good working with Denno. All right, let's see what Nightwave stuff we got. And as I said, DE is on vacation, so don't expect anything, like, big this week. All right, so we got, uh, as far as the first weekly, complete three Railjack missions. I honestly just do the uh, the first one. It's not free. The one that's like the lowest level one besides free roam. I don't think free roam is in the count for this. Uh, it's like this really easy one with like 20 fighters and like two cruise ships on Earth. Just do that one real quick. Um, three times. What is this daily right here? Clear a personal lich influence node. That's a little bit annoying. I don't actually have a lich currently active, and I already have all the lich weapons I want leveled up. So I would need, basically just need to make a Lich to waste time to do this daily. That's a kind of rude daily, if you ask me. Um, complete three Void Flood missions. Not my favorite game mode, but at least it's not Void Armageddon. Uh, that's going to be on the Zeramon ship. Usually it's used the Titania to fly around and pick up all the orbs. Uh, Mad Lab Plunder, one of V's secret laboratories on Jupiter. Uh, so there's basically secret laboratories on Jupiter. You need to hit these buttons. There's like a triangle, square, and circle. And just hit them in the right order and it will open this door. I recommend looking up a guide for that one, seriously. Um, maybe on the wiki or something. Uh, we have 4,500 rep for that one. Sound Sleeper complete three nightmare missions of any type. 
Once you've completed every mission on a planet, Nightmare Missions will become available to you on that planet you've completed all the missions on. So, yeah, you can drop exclusive Nightmare Mods, and there you go. Just do three of those. I usually just do the Captures the Exterminates, honestly. I'll complete ten Syndicate Missions. Okay, good thing I didn't do my Syndicate Missions earlier today, because you only get a certain amount of these per day. So, like New Loca, Parent Sequence, like literally what this picture's showing right here, besides the glitched out UI with all the dashes for some reason. Um, yeah, just do those. Destroy three Necromech Vault Guardians. Now, if you do the level three Isolation Vault Bounty, there will be three guaranteed Necromechs in the Isolation Vault, even if you're a solo player. If you do the lower level ones, there's only going to be one Necromech Guardian uh, guardian in the Vault. So, yeah, do make sure you do the high level one, and you can get it done in one run. And also, make sure if you're doing this, make sure you bring Necros. Because Necros, Desecrate ability, works on the drops from Necromechs, and hardly anything else does seem to work, so... Yeah, Necros is awesome for loot, and he's extremely awesome for Necromech loot. So, highly recommend that. Um, as far as killing a Necromech, ha having your own Necromech is the best way to do it, in my opinion. And if you don't have your own Necromech, you honestly, just find someone that has a Necromech, because it just makes it so much easier to use the Arquebex on them. And the final Elite Weekly is convert 10 Ribbon Slivers into a Ribbon Mod. Uh, so, this does reset on, like, Wednesdays, I think it is. And you need to go to Iron Wake... Paula Dina and Iron Wake. So if you already did this this week, you might not be able to do it until it resets. And actually, before we end the video, I'll go to Iron Wake to see if, if you know, maybe. It's kind of dumb. It's like, why, why do I, you're making me wait until Wednesday for this arbitrarily? That's an elite weekly. Um, and if you're having a hard time getting Riven Slivers, just do like a longer, um, a longer survival or uh, defense or something. As far as credit offerings, uh, I have not taken a look here, so let's see what we got. We get the new, and we have a Steinex helmet. I don't think this is the new Steinex helmet. I think Steinex helmets all look really stupid, personally, but yeah, that's what you got right there. Uh, evergreen stuff at the top. We got a Yorelli helmet. We got a Protea helmet. We got a Naros Anubis. I always recommend a Naros Anubis helmet, one of my favorite helmets in the game. Uh, it's funny, though. It takes Nightane to craft it, but it looks pretty cool, so... Uh, it'll be up to you. We've got Gyre's Ataman helmet. This also takes Night in the craft, and it's Gyre. Uh, as far as aura mods, ooh, we got some good aura mods this week. We got Deadeye, Sprint Boost, Loot Detector, and Corrosive Projection. As far as must haves, I'd say Loot Detector is a must have for hunting down loot, like uh, medallion and stuff in the mission. And Corrosive Projection, it's not a must have, but it's a really good one to have. So I'd say I'd still recommend it to you highly. Um, Sprint Boost can be nice for just making you run faster, too, but definitely not necessary, and Deadeye is rarely used ever, although it is a nice little chunk of sniper damage right there. For Mastery Fodder Weapons, we got the Dark Sword and the Normal Glaive. Uh, the Normal Glaive is nowhere near as strong as the Glaive Prime. Just keep that in mind. These are both basically Mastery Fodder right here. For PvP Augmentwads, we got Brainstorm for the Gracada, which gives you infinite ammo on headshots, as long as you're getting headshots constantly. Uh, double tap for the Latron, which basically gives you a stacking buff. Um, as long as you hit, use the Latron and keep getting headshots, not really worth it to me, but, you know, some people like this. And then Focused Acceleration for the Tetra, giving you increased projectile speed while aiming with the Tetra. That's, that's it for your, uh, credit offerings. Let's go take a quick peek at the Invigoration Chair. And then I'm going to also just quickly go to Iron Wake just to show you, um, how that works if you haven't seen it before. All right, so let's see if I got anything good. Okay, wow, a Varuna Invigoration. This is my first Varuna Invigoration ever. We'll have to see what that is. So we have primary crit chance and ability efficiency for Banshee. That's a pretty good one for her. Um, lets, you sp lets her spam her two a lot. You know, increase crit chance to make it so you're doing big, big damage on those enemies that are affected by her debuffs. Very nice. So a nice Invigoration for her. Uh, melee crit chance and 1,000 health for Hydroid. Uh... Even if he had those built in, he still wouldn't be a good frame. Uh, so it's unfortunate that Hydra exists like that. And then, wow, a crazy one for Varuna. Increased ability range and increased energy rate. All right, there probably will be a new Varuna video this week using this crazy range increase. Um, yeah, I'm just guessing there will be big AoE chaining death from her too. So hooray for that. Uh, as far as other things that will be affected by range in her, it's really just going to be her too. Um, but yeah, expect that video out soon. Then we're going to quickly go to Iron Wake, and we'll just turn in those Riven Slivers in case people need to know how to do that, how that works. So, hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, I, I, I got the, the very nice gift of my car breaking down today, and I was trying to go to my family gathering. So, yeah, that's another expense I'm going to have to deal with here, but, you know, I'm glad to be back. Um, I technically don't need to drive all the time because I work at home. 
Um, but, you know, if there's like an emergency or something like that, I'm going to definitely need to get that car fixed. Uh, it, is, it basically just won't start. So, unfortunate there. So, as far as turning in these ribbon slivers, we went to Iron Wake on Earth. And we're going to go to this person in the back here. And I believe she has two ribbons per week now, but let's see if it resets. I think it resets on like Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, so it did work. And I'm going to show you what I was talking about earlier with those ribbon slots. So I have, I think I'm maxed out in ribbon slots, but this does not count as eating up a ribbon slot. And I'm going to do that actually twice. And she also gives you 35k Kuba too, so. There we go. I'm pretty much Kuba poor nowadays, and there's the challenge completed, so. Hope you guys found the fun, uh, video fun and helpful. I'll see you later tonight on stream. It won't be a super long stream, but we'll definitely do this Archon sortie. Probably do the call mission and some other stuff, too. I'll see you with new videos coming out uh, very soon. And I appreciate all support, guys. You have a, a safe holiday and take it easy. Peace.